and welcome to Now About Chef. Today we are doing another masterclass video and today's subject is... Eggs. <laughs> We're doing five basic ways to cook eggs. Poached eggs, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, boiled eggs and we're doing an omelette. So the basic eggs that you kind of have for breakfast or brunch that yeah. everybody needs to know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get straight into it. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Crack. That's my pun for the day. <laughs> Cracking the eggs. Yep. <laughs> we recorded the each individual egg recipe over a month because we can't really eat that many eggs in a single day and it'd be, it'd be a waste to throw them <laughs> away. So if you see any continuity errors or differences in that, that's because we filmed it over a few weeks. So the first one I'm going to show you is poached eggs and we'll start off with a pot of water with plenty of water in it. I'll bring that to the boil and I'm going to put about two tablespoons of white vinegar in it. And we just want to keep that at a gentle boil, not rapidly boiling, just so there's bubbles coming up without disturbing the water too much. Using a slotted spoon, create a whirlpool in the water. Crack your egg into the center of the whirlpool. Cook for about three minutes or until the egg white has set. Remove the egg from the pot and drain any excess water. The perfect poached egg should still have a very runny yolk. Next I'll be doing fried eggs. We start off with a nice big heavy bottom pan. We'll put that on the stove, get up to a high heat and go to a decent amount of oil in the bottom. Crack the eggs into the pan, making sure not to break the yolk. My pan has started to bow in the center, so my eggs have flowed to the outside of the pan. Cook the eggs for about three minutes or until the egg whites have set. So we're gonna continue with boiled eggs this time. We'll start off with a pot similar to the poached eggs, fill it up, plenty of water, and we'll put two tablespoons of vinegar in there. The vinegar will help coagulate any egg whites that try to escape from any cracks if we drop the eggs in. I'll be showing you how to do soft boiled eggs and hard boiled eggs. For the soft boiled eggs, we'll be lowering them into the boiling water and cooking them for about four minutes. And the hard boiled eggs, we'll be cooking them for about eight minutes. Those cooking times are for eggs that are at room temperature. If you're cooking your eggs from the fridge, just add an extra two minutes to each of the cooking times. So that's six minutes for soft boiled and 10 minutes for hard boiled. When cooked, serve immediately or place eggs into ice cold water to stop them from cooking any further. Soft boiled eggs should have the egg whites set and the yolk still runny. I peel egg shells by using the back side of the spoon to crack the outside of the eggs. Then using the spoon to get under the eggshell, I can then peel the shells off easily without damaging the egg. Hard boiled eggs should have both the egg whites and the yolks set, but the egg yolks should still be ever so slightly moist. Next I'll be cooking scrambled eggs. And so I'll start off with two to three eggs per portion. I'll crack them into a large bowl. I'll season with salt and pepper and usually put about two to three tablespoons of cream whisk them together and then they're ready to cook. Put a small amount of oil into a hot pan and then a knob of butter. Pour in your egg mix and then start scrambling with a spatula or a wooden spoon. Stop cooking when the eggs have almost set and they will finish cooking by the time you serve. The last recipe for today is omelette. It starts exactly the same way as the scrambled eggs, about two to three eggs per portion, salt, pepper, a little bit of cream mixed together. Start with a high heat and some oil, 
then a knob of butter. Pour in the egg mix and using a spatula, move the egg in the pan, pulling it towards the center, letting the uncooked egg run to the outside. Then add your fillings. I'm using cheese and spinach. Using a spatula, fold both sides over to the center. Then turn the omelette out of the pan onto a plate. So there you have it. There are some of our basic egg cooking methods. Methods. Yeah. I was going to say recipes. I was like, it's not <laughs> quite right. <laughs> so I hope you've learned something from these techniques mm. and that your next attempt at making the perfect omelette will <laughs> will amaze your friends and family <laughs> you'll be on an omelette chef <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye, bye. somebody's made herself comfortable watching the, the show little queen of sheba over there aren't you pixel <laughs> now she's coming over <laughs> No, 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 we're not finished. Out. Out. Go on. Out. Out of the kitchen. We talked to her, so we get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs>